what else could I do here? Maybe we could pull in some categories to show us where these accounts, like how they are grouped, right? So we have these begin totals and these end totals, but wouldn't it be awesome to see like a category and a subcategory here? And I can totally modify my screen here, super easy. I just personalize it. And now I can add additional fields here Come on, of course, it's the demo. <laughs> here we go. So uh, let's say I want to add like additional fields here. And I talked about the categories. So maybe just start typing. Okay, here we go. We have account category and subcategory. I think it would be a great idea to put them here to have like the account category. So it would tell me um, if it's an asset or liability or in uh, like in revenue or in Cox account. And if I want to see even more, I have subcategories in Business Central. And now I can see that for the assets, I have the, um, the cash, uh, accounts receivable, prepaid expenses, all these kind of things I can see already in here. It's as easy as that to enter new fields on tables. But I can, sorry, I can do that same thing also on the card view. So let's say, I didn't like the view of the card because it contained way too many details. I could go here and for example say I don't know I don't even know what this field is and I don't care. So just go here and hide it. And then there is another uh, another option that we have here. You can see this show more. So so just watch what I, what happens when I click on this field. It actually shows me additional fields. Like this field, the new page was not here before. Right, so you can see that. So I can actually hide fields, and if I want to see them, they are still visible if I just click on this show more field. So what I can do is I can say this debit and credit, I want to make this only visible when I click the show more. And then the next feature, which is kind of cool, is if you want to collapse this entire group, you see a couple of fields which are still visible up here, even if it's collapsed. So we can see here that the number is still visible, the name, the account uh, type and the balance. So if I want to make sure that a certain field is um, only visible when it's collapsed, I can make um, the account subcategory, for example, visible by, so, by show when it's collapsed. So now, since this is the setup, if I collapse it, I would also see the account subcategory populated here, even when it's collapsed. That's, uh, think, I think it's a super nice feature if you want to save space on your screen and you still want to have access, access to all the details that you need. Yeah, Rico, that user interface is like amazingly configurable. And I think for people who are new to Business Central, that really shortens the learning curve. That's amazing. Cool. All right. Well, we'll go on to our next item. Yes, please. So what else do you have in your bucket list that you would like to see on our end? All right, well, I'm gonna go through, uh, I'm gonna show my screen. And you were showing uh, modifying columns. I can't really do that modifying columns on certain things I can. So in list views, I can change columns or for example, um, in smart list, I can go in. Uh, I can't do that kind of dragging and dropping that you were doing in smart list. I actually have to go into the column field here and go and move things around. So I really like that ease of use. Um, and for those of, the, of you that are on the webinar that use list views, in the list views, I'm not going to go into them right now, but you can drag and drop the columns um, again in there. So that, that's, that's fairly comparable there.